the Nighthawk Firehawk. Ported Barrel. Ah! Oh! oh! Who are you? I'm Matt from Off the Ranch. Who are you? I'm Matt from Demolition Ranch. I'm I'm confused. So if so if you're me and I'm me and you're anybody you need and a horse euthanized? Ah! Oh! Yo! Oh! What? Ah! 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 Welcome to Demolition Ranch. Today we have two of the most powerful 1911s you ever will see. This one chambered in 5.56. That's right, the same round that an AR-15 shoots. This one is chambered in 308. That's right, deer rifle round. But first, let me show you what you're shooting at and then we'll come back to these. You ever been to a fancy restaurant and they give you like Himalayan pink salt? No. Me neither, but I've heard about it. And we got giant blocks of it, which is actually kind of hard to get. That's solid Himalayan pink rock salt from the Himalayas. We went and got it just yesterday. We, we drove up there and picked it up from the Himalayas. It was fun. The weather's nice. Uh, we're going to shoot it. Let me show you what with. We have an array of 1911 and 1911 styled guns. So this one's the one that doesn't make a lot of sense. But it's kind of, it's a little baby Colt 25 ACP. We're going to be starting there. Moving up to a Colt 380. Then we'll go over here to a 2011, our Staccato. This is a 9mm. We will go up here to the Nighthawk, chambered in 45 ACP. Then we will hit the Kimber up which is a 10 millimeter. And then we will get into our big dogs over here. These are just uppers. So this is on a regular 1911 lower. And this is a Springfield Armory called a 1911 A2 SAS, S-A-S-S, -S, Springfield Armory single shot. We have this one, which is chambered in 5.56. You see that cute little 556 chamber there? And then this one with a bigger hole and it's ported up here, 1911. Chambered in 308, 762 by 51. We put it on our Desert Eagle 1911 lower. And then I put a Vortex Crossfire Scout Scope on there, so the eye relief is big, so you hold it back here. This is made for pistols. So we can really zoom in and shoot a 308. Yeah, your hand's gonna hurt. You gonna feel good? It's gonna be great. Mm, I can't wait. Will we get hit with pieces of salt? Yes. Or bullets? This is a 25 ACP, which everyone knows is the most powerful of the ACPs. I felt a little bit of dusting. Kind of made a good little hit there. What is it? The bullet flew back? Uh, what? It's very squished, but yeah, that's our bullet. Oops. It's it's definitely warm. Okie dokie. We should get behind cover, probably. This freaking rock salt's going to be pretty hard. Let it turn again! Whoa, 380. We turned it a little bit and we're behind a wall. And we'll see if I can hit it with this little guy. What will it do to the salt? Probably nothing. Yeah, buddy. A little bit more damage than a 25. Let's shoot it with something bigger. Oh, is that? Yeah, let's show that first and then we'll shoot it with something bigger. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, those cracks might be new. We'll find out. Uh, it is split already. This was how it was. So we have two blocks lined up. Staccato XC. This is a nine millimeter. We're good. Mucho power. But still psh, hardly doing anything to our salt block. Oh. It's salty. Nighthawk. 45 ACP. Uh, also, check the comments. There's going to be all kinds about lead that I just licked. Yeah, buddy. Comp 1911s and 2011s. They're so cool. That's neat. So you can see, we got a hit right here. Kind of like a sunrise crack coming back from it. You can see all right here getting a little damaged. But, I mean, as far as penetration goes, did nothing. The cracks went down halfway through the block, but nothing up front. 10 millimeters going a lot faster, so it might have a chance. Kimber, rapide, chambered, and 10 millimeter. Let's see what this bad boy does. You want has holes? I don't think so. Cool. Well, aside from the usual ones. 
All right, that one's cracks went deeper. They're going all the way back here. Look at that. So all of our pistol rounds, even the more powerful ones, have done about the same thing. They kind of scratch the surface. Uh, nothing is going deep, which is exactly why we had, it was a need to buy the, uh, the rifle caliber pistol uppers so we can get some more power. Let's just plink around. I have not shot this thing yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh! Is this gonna hurt? Even the 5.56? Yeah, it's not gonna feel great. How loud is it? Because that's a tiny barrel for a 5.56. It's loud and the fireball. Wait, wait for this. Dude, dead in the middle though. Yeah. Uh, the kick wasn't bad. That fireball was serious though. So you, how's it come out? Yeah, you just have to manually. Easy. I like this thing. I feel like I'm gonna hate the 308. Oh shoot, you have to. Definitely have to cock it every time. Jeez. All right, it's biting a little bit. Yeah, you got to hold lower because this thing, that beaver tail bites you. Dude, that's a satisfying thump though. I like that. So we bought these things on Gunbroker. We saw them pop up. Uh, they were like a little over a thousand bucks a piece for the upper only. And apparently these came out to be a, a competitor, a cheaper option for the TC Contender, which was little single shot pistols that shot big rifle calibers dude nice that does feel good i like this thing i really am scared about the 308 you should be i think i'm gonna hate it yeah dude nice. this thing's solid okay we're gonna go for speed three shots i'm getting lead poisoning for sure three shots for time doesn't matter if i hit <laughs> no i'll try to hit go uh, uh. Hit. I remember how to do it. Ah. Hit. Ah. Yeah. Felt good. Felt really good, dude. I like this thing. I wonder when they made these things. I don't know how old this is, but Thompson contenders were popular over 20 years ago, so. These, I assume, came out after them. It's super accurate, too. We looked it up, because Mikey just said they came out in the 80s. So this weird thing sticking out looks like a mag base plate, but of course this is single shot, so you don't need a mag. This magazine is actually just a mechanism. It's actually really interesting, but it's a mechanism to release. You pull on that, and it releases this to open up the breech. So now you pull back on that and it pops your breech open. And you load up your new round, throw her in there, boom, good to go. Let's shoot that salt block. This does not hurt. Uh, this one feels pretty good. So it's enjoyable to shoot, I would say. I'm a fan of this thing and it's very accurate and it's seeming to run fine. I mean, it's a single shot break open, but let's shoot some salt. Okie dokie. Uh, I have a feeling this is not going to do a whole lot to this salt block. It shot a lot of salt out. Let's go check her out. Ejection's good on that. Okay, look at this thing. Uh, that's that's the deepest hole I've ever seen. Ooh. What? Oh, What'd you laugh at? The hole, never mind. Oh. Uh, it, it worked out pretty good, um, but probably only went 25% of the way through this first block. We got some good cracks. It looks like it could crack in half at any time. Okay, so we got through all of our first calibers without even breaking apart this front block. Let's try the 308. Yay! It's gonna be so much fun. Put our little mechanism in here, our mechanism. Hmm. Nice. <laughs> okay! It's got a better beaver tail at least. Why'd we pick one with like super sharp grips too? Look at your fingers. It was like really digging into. Oh mine. yeah, gah, yeah. That one you could feel rocky right in that bone right there. Yep, still feel uh, it today. <laughs> okay, let's shoot some more. This is great. Super great. Feels just like Clint Eastwood, but with a 1911 and a Vortex Scout op. I was gonna say Han Solo. Shoot, did you see me flinch? Yeah, that was bad. <sighs> pissed off that hawk. 
God, this sucks. Yeah, I do feel like old Han Solo. Are we gonna long range? Do some long range? Yes, sir. Do we have to though? Yes. The people want to see it. It's not know. terrible. It's just not good. Like it's, <laughs> it's like a, it's a 500 Magnum. It's it's very similar. It hurts. Ow! I don't like it. <laughs> ah! I like this little holster though. Ammo holster. My bandolier. God, dude, it's this right here is where my hand is, and it's just ripping on this rough. I mean, they make that rough so it stays in your hand, but God, it's just digging. Love it. Okay, we're gonna aim a little right. I think I was going left on those shots. They felt like I was on, but they did not hit anything. Sighting in this gun would suck, so. You're welcome. Why? You didn't sight it in. Well, I sighted it in for 25. <laughs> I'm not gonna. <laughs> it's like normal guns, you're like, fun to sight in. I'm not sure where this one's going. Hey. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude, it's starting to like hurt the bones behind the bones it's hitting. <laughs> Your wrist? Like, it's just like, it's going through my hands and like back into all of your like metacarpal, I mean your carpal bones. Like my metacarpal's getting hit first. Now it's moving back to the little ones. I can feel it in here just like jamming them together every time. What about the phalanges? My phalanges are fine. They're out here just lo loving life, not getting hammered on. Have y'all one-handed this thing yet? No, you'd be the first. Oh, no, that looked like... Actually, it wasn't as bad. Really? Yeah, I don't know why. Maybe it's because I was just flexing everything I had. I don't know. It seemed good. One hand. I'm going to smoke that target right in the middle here. You ready? Okay, that was like four feet off. That time it actually hurt way worse. Dude, look at it chewing up where that beaver tail hits you. Yep. Right, right in the meat there. And right there. Dude. That's where it's smacking you. But let's keep going, you know? Yep. How, how many more rounds of 308 do we have? Thousands. Bring them on. <laughs> oh, God. Dude, just putting my hand on the beaver tail, <laughs> it's bruised on that thumb. It hurts just doing that now. It was a little low. I hit it. What are you talking about? It was, it was low. Hit, but it was a little low. It doesn't matter. You hit anybody, anything with a 308, they're going down. Prove it. What if I do this? You're going to be more accurate? Yeah. Fire? Ready when you are. <laughs> you heard a. You heard a. Scoped. That's good. Like, I feel manly. Like a hurt man, but like a manly man, you know? Oh, dude. That was a, ten, that was a nasty flinch. Dude, I'm flinching a lot. You scared? I have a bruise on my knuckle, and it just keeps punching me in the same bruise. So, yeah. I'm a little scared, okay? I mean, it's fun, though. It is fun. Like, it hurts so good. I just want to shoot that salt block so we can end this video. <laughs> Golly. The 5.56, real fun to shoot. Yeah. This one? That one was, was like pleasantly like thumpy in the yeah. head. Yeah, it feels good. I want to know where it's going at long range, but I don't want to shoot it slowly anymore to find out. I just want to keep blasting targets I know I can hit. Probably miss now. <laughs> just got to make it through these. You want to see how fast I can do this one? Yeah. Maybe three rounds on here? Speed run. See if I can hit two. I'm going to be flinching hard on this. All right, same deal, speed run. Shooter ready? Yep. You have to say beep. Oh. Shooter ready? Yep. Beep. <laughs> Dang it. Golly. Uh, dude, forget how to open this thing. Under pressure. Under pressure. Jeez, this thing's not fun at all. How? Feels good. It's shooting right. That's why I was missing down there, because, yeah, we thought it was shooting left, so I was aiming more right. All right, last one. Let's see if I can hit, now that we know. Nice. Aim like six inches off the left side of that target. Three options. Place your bets in the comments below. We're going to shoot it with 308 out of this pistol. Is it going to do what the others have done? Make a little dent, but not break the block apart. It, or, option B, is, is it going to break the block apart, not touch a second one. 
Option C, go through, touch the second one. Place your bets. A, B, C. I'm going with a B on this one. I think it's going to break that first block apart. Ow, that barrel's warm. And not even touch our second block. 308. Coming in hot. That's salt. Yeah, I got hit with salt. Oh wow, it broke it right here and pulled it apart. That's our hit right there with the 308 going right still. It did actually break it in half. I mean, it's it just didn't fall. It's in half and nothing, I mean, it, it only made it, the actual bullet only made it to here. It just punched it so hard that it cracked everything. Salt is pretty hard. You wanna shoot something hard at it? Hard armor, hard projectile. Yeah. This is a GM6 Lynx. This is a black tip. 50 BMG going in, and uh, I think this is going to tear up both of them. I think both blocks are going to be destroyed here. Fire in a hole! Whoa, that was cool, and I don't think it destroyed our back block. I think it just knocked it over. Crazy. Oh, it went high. So it came and busted through, and then went up and took out the top. Ugh. So anyway, we can salt our steaks now. We got plenty of salt left over, so that's good. It can't be good. Oh, Matt, no. I just had an idea. So guns like this, we buy because we think they're cool, but it's they're not guns you shoot all the time. Like we'll probably pull it out one, maybe two more times this year and shoot it. It's just something that's cool to have and we wanted to try it out. So I was like, what if we put those guns to better use? Like, what if there's a resort in Texas that you can go to? And maybe, just maybe there's a gun range out there that you can go to, it's open to the public. And maybe, just maybe, the Demolition Ranch guns are out there and you could like actually come here and shoot this gun or this gun or this gun. Like they're just there. I don't know, I just think it'd be cool if you had a range where people could actually come try these things out for themselves. Cause it's gonna be hard to find. Some of these guns are hard to find. These things are old, rare. It's just a thought. What if there was a demolition ranch in real life kind of range that you guys could go to and, and shoot my guns? That'd be sweet. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Demolition Ranch. I like this one. And I love you! I'll see you next time. It's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell mayor. <laughs>